Hi guys and welcome to part 4 of my Let's Play series for Forza Motorsport 5 where you can follow me in my journey in this fantastic game. So if you watch my previous videos you'll see I was using the Mazda MX-5 and I was using that in the Sport Compact League. I've now finished in the Modern Sports Compact all the races there including the bonus ones and I thought I'd switch it up a bit. I want to change to a different type of car so I thought Right, what will I go for? And I went into Sport and I saw the Executive Sport, which are full of larger, heavier cars. And I picked the BMW M5 2003 model, which is on the screen now. And uh, I've raced the first couple of events and found it, as expected, a lot quicker, but heavy in the corners, unfortunately. So, I'm just fresh out of the workshop and... Uh, what I have done is lowered the ride with the springs and I've put on the front bumper and the rear spoiler and a couple of other minor tweaks to try and reduce the weight a little. So that is my car there. It looks rather nice. I'm hoping the spoiler etc has made a difference um, and we shall go race. So continue my career. And we're off to Le Mans. So as I say, I've done the first couple of events. And um, we are heading back to the streets of Le Mans, France for today's event at the iconic Circuit de la Sarthe. Here we go. So the first one was in Prague. The second one was in Yas Marina. And this is the third one now. So let's see if these tweaks to my cars improve the handling hopefully as as i say it was fantastic acceleration but as you'd expect with m5 the weight um rear wheel drive it was not the best to handle in the corners um i would have liked to put on different tires and brakes but um that would have took me into the the next class doing that so we shall see and it is a signature event so starting grid, what are these BMW? Yeah, they're all BMWs. Okay, start the race. One thing I've done since my last set of videos is I've took off stability control. I'm now using traction control only. And that gave me an extra, I believe, 5% bonus. experience of this car in the first couple of races told me I really need to respect its power. I'm trying to stay out of the way of this uh, slight traffic jam as much as possible but oh no I'm getting nudged from behind it's pulling my car off the track. I think the start of the races are worse in this car um, than the Mazda. It's so much easier to be spun off the track. Just a slight nudge from behind from another car sends this thing into a tailspin. Oh, I was going a bit too quick there. My fault. I do apologise. But um, it's so much quicker and then on the downside of the weight is it's so much slower before you actually get your speed back under control in the corners. Right, we've got 
two remaining laps in a second to try and get moved up a few places. cars here decide quite tightly parked. I'd like to just get past them if I could. Yeah, I don't think he's going to take the corner at that speed. in the ninth spot. Might be ever so gentle on the accelerator. game does a fantastic job of showing you the difference in handling between the small lighter Mazda and this bigger heavier more powerful BMW. Considering you're using just a, a controller you really get the, the feel put across to you very well. mean inside. Determined not to let them. Oh. Managed to regain control. Car, I think regardless of what track you're on you get you get short bursts of a tremendous speed and then you're it's hard in the brakes and then tremendous speed then hard in the brakes so uh, that over and over which is not a bad thing I guess I need to force my way past so I'm not going to get past some of these cars That was okay. Still trying to get the feel of the BMW. I think the spoiler now has improved things a little bit. And new badge and title unlocked. Oh dear, that doesn't look too too good shape, does it? Silver, please. I'm finding this quite a bit harder to race with in the Mazda, I must admit. Um, I think various upgrades could help sort that out, however 
it's going to bump the car up into the next class, which I don't want to do. So, driver level 7. Continue. Where do we visit next? We return to England for another event. Silverstone. The Silverstone circuit. So for you, for those of you watching this video, do you have the game yourselves? What if so? What do you think of it? Or are you just looking to see it from a point of view of a potential purchase, or do you just enjoy watching racing games? Be sure to let me know. I'm a big fan of this game. Um, enjoyed a couple of the previous Forza games and I think this is fantastic. The main thing I take from this game is just the handling and how well how well the game uh, gives you the feeling of actually driving the car on your screen as opposed to just being a video game. So test your passing skills by watching as many cars as possible. That's something I remember from the Project Gotham racing games. I quite enjoyed uh, that sort of event in it. So I need to pass 12 cars to get gold. Well, let's have a look at the starting grid. What am I racing against here? Oh, it doesn't say. It's not going to tell me the type of car, so let's start. Fantastic noise, though. Right, hopefully they're a lot slower than my car. They certainly appear to be so far. Slightly cloudier weather as you'd expect due to the course's location. Bit of uh, spin there, but kept it under control just. So you only get one lap to do this in. So I'm probably not going to have to be too polite to the cars, I'm really going to have to go for it. gears it's and my speed slightly wrong there but never mind thankfully there was a few cars there to slow me down and I think we did the 12 cars there and another unlock gold fever I think my car's in not too bad shape actually, for a change. And we're slowly getting towards level 2 for BMW Affinity as well. So that is it for this episode in my journey through Forza 5. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as I say, please let me know if you play the game yourself, if so, what do you think of it? And if not, why do you like watching these videos? So thanks very much for now and I will see you in the next one.